Okay, so I have the Greenworks G-Max 40 volt 19 inch lawnmower that I like, it works great, uh, but after two years of use, it stopped working quite right. Uh, this is a little bit different than uh, some others. You don't pull this and push this to start it. This actually engages a lock on the, uh, the cable, and then you, you're supposed to pull this back to start the mower, but obviously it doesn't work. Now if I apply a little bit of extra pressure on this cable, it starts up. So what happened is over two years, this cable just got a little bit longer. Now this mower has a, uh, I think four year, or maybe even five year warranty, which is great, but I just, uh, in the middle of the summer, just called the local repair shop, and they said, yeah, bring it in, bring your receipt, and we'll have, uh, we'll look at it within two weeks and have the parts within another two weeks. Well, that really wasn't good. So, I decided to look into it myself, found a few things on Amazon, some reviews, and found out the fix. It's really easy, and I wanted to make this video to show you how to do it yourself. Okay, so it's a pretty simple lawnmower here. It's great. It's one of the things when I decided to buy it that um, made me think, uh, hey, you know, instead of getting a gas-powered lawnmower, I'll just get one with batteries. Um, it works for me. It's fairly simple, um, and uh, it's proven there's only uh, six screws on top. So all you have to do is remove those. Oh, before you do that, take out the key. Now, lift off the cover, and uh, there's some wires on there, so let me, uh, all you have to do is prop that up and don't unplug them and that's basically the wires for the battery and the key and uh, as you can see this is actually a great opportunity like I said it's very simple we've got an electric motor there and a switch uh, take this opportunity to blow it out so really what happens is the cable stretches and there's no way to shorten it uh, it's connected here there's a little spring um, and what happens is this has to pull out and click in order for the safety to disengage. All right, so there's really no way to shorten this cable. Uh, you might think, oh, I'll put a washer here, but that would just make the housing farther back. So really the only way is to, to bend that. If you bend it a little bit away from 90 degrees, it'll work. So right now, push the button, no click, it's too short. What I'm gonna try to do is just uh, bend this. ever so slightly. All right. Let's see if that does it. Yep, that should work. All we have to do now, put it back together. Alright, reinstall the battery, reinstall the key. 